Hi everybody, this is Zombie and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. In this review we'll be taking a look at Chief Nub Nub's epic weapon, Chief of Staff, which you can see him modelling for us right here. It's got a funny little face on it, I quite like it actually, it's kind of like some kind of weird voodoo thing as you might expect from Chief Nub Nub. Anyway, for his weapon itself then, and the benefits we get at max level, which is 12, as I'm sure you all know by now, you get a plus 30% bonus to defense, 20% bonus to attack, and a 20% bonus to max health. The effect is a 30% chance to cleanse allies, attack for 1.5 damage, and plus defense buff to goblin allies. So that cleanse allies, it works in the same way as Yasmin in that it removes those debuffs. Quite useful. The weapon itself and the other two pieces required at level 6 and 12 are obtained from Savage Grove on Boss Island. Remember that you need to bring along the hero that needs the parts in order for them to drop and that RNG plays a key factor. So don't expect them to drop on your first run necessarily. There is one blatantly obvious team to use for farming these parts and that is the green goblins plus one friend such as Rocky for the extra crit chance boost that he gives. I did a video using the gobs and Rocky on Savage Grove a long 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 time ago so have a search in my channel to find it and it will show you how to get along with that. I wanted to give Nub Nub's new epic weapon the best chance possible to perform and show us what it could do. So I spent about 10 million gold on moving runes around from my various different heroes uh, so that my goblin team had a top end setup. I'll show you the runes at the end of the video, I may as well get some use out of that gold. And then I, what I did then is took them through several dungeons to see how they actually managed. The team absolutely tear through dungeons like Babel Mountain, as the debuffs from the enemies don't really have too much of a detrimental effect on the team. But that's always been the case with the goblins though, and because of that, Chief of Staff never really got to trigger. Zerk and the normal speed goblins generally just wipe out each room in one round. In the dungeons that I consider the most challenging, where the debuffs severely hamper the heroes, they didn't do well at all. As you can see from the footage now showing, the team are working their way through Pestilence Spiral, but it all falls apart rather rapidly. I quickly had to take off auto run and start using actions manually, but even then I couldn't do much about that disease. The effects from Chief of Staff are excellent, but the source of the issues that I was facing on this dungeon and other similar is that Nub Nub is a slow hero and as such he isn't getting enough of an opportunity to trigger that epic ability and the normal speed enemies are doing way too much damage. The net effect is that the gobs simply get worn down over time until the team is eventually wiped out. What's needed to actually get the most from Nub Nub's epic is to actually have his speed change to normal or have an epic for the likes of Bramble or Zerg that does something to allow Nub Nub to be useful, such as speeding up all goblins for one or two turns, something along those lines. Okay, let me show you those runes that I was talking about really quickly so that you can see just how well the goblins were decked out. First off, let's take a look at Nub Nub then. So I've got two greater powers on there, a precision, another precision and a bulwark so giving some pretty good stats as you can see that's some strong stuff there but you know um and then we also have squinch not too bad again i pulled a lot of these good runes off uh several of my other heroes which they will be going back to very very shortly because i will not be keeping this team running uh cruel king Bramble, lots of good stuff on him, and also we have, where are you Zerk, my favourite of all the goblins. So again, some decent stuff on him, it's a bit of survivability and also a lot of attack. So some close out comments for me then really, as it stands, my advice around Chief of Staff is to save your totems and mats and actually swap Nub Nub for Yasmin. Yaz performs the same role, but she's just a normal speed hero, so gets to act in uh, at a time that you can actually find useful. And also, the benefit of her epic can apply to any allied heroes, it's not just limited to goblins. Sorry Chief, but I'm afraid it's back in the box with you, I'm afraid. That's all for now guys, please do leave comments, questions or suggestions in the comments section below, I'll always try to answer. 
Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos or search Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.